podcasters and YouTubers. Mouth noises like that suck. So clean your audio and it's really easy to do. I'm going to show a couple of ways to do this with what we're going to use in this video. Isotopes RX mouth D click. So let's get right into it. There's no reason to have a bunch of mouth noises in your audio. You can remove it in a couple of seconds or a few minutes, depending on you know how long your your audio is. But uh, let's uh, listen to this right here. This uh, voice track from a different video I did. So let's listen to this here. Amp from Waves, but it has nothing to do with this specific. Hear that right there? It has nothing to do with right here. Some clicks, almost like the tongue making some noise there uh, on that uh, on this track, but it has nothing to do with this specific. You might need to wear headphones if you can't hear this. Thing to do with this right here. Thing to do with hear this click. Thing to do with thing to do with click there. Nothing to do with this. Nothing to do with this. Nothing to do another one right here. This 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 right with this specific amp right here. Zoom in here. This sound right here. For those who can't hear it, let me cut that and I'll jack it way up. It's almost the sound of like your tongue, like hitting in your mouth. It's an awful, awful noise. I absolutely hate that. You know, nothing takes you out of a podcast or a YouTube video faster than a bunch of these noises happening all the time. Specific amp, okay? Run more right here. You can actually see this one here. This little click. Okay, right there. So right now we're using RX mouth D click. And right now I have it as an insert on uh, our audio track. So we're using the real time version. We'll look at the audio suite version uh, next here. So all you have to do is turn it on. Now I can't tell you exactly the settings you would use because this is not an exact science. So you have your sensitivity slider, your click widening. So if you're not getting all your clicks, just you know play around with this. If your clicks are happening in the lower end, try moving this down. If they're happening in the upper end, try moving this up. All right, you really just kind of have to play around with it. So we'll just kind of give it a setting right there. We'll turn it on and have a listen. Amp from Waves, but it has nothing to do with this specific amp, okay? So no good right there. Just widen this out a bit. A little more sensitive. I'm gonna put the skew down a little bit and just try that amp from waves, but it has nothing to do with this specific amp. Okay, a lot better, not perfect. Again, you just mess around with this until you get it just right. And we can output the clicks only. So this is what uh, is actually within this audio, just the clicks. All right, you hear all that? Now, obviously, most of that you wouldn't actually be hearing because it's so low. Uh, but it's still it's still in the audio there. So let's try this. Let me actually bring this up a little bit. This setting here, this should be okay. Amp from waves, but it has nothing to do with this specific amp. Okay, so not too bad. Not perfect. Again, you just play around with this stuff until you get it uh, just right. Amp from waves, but it has nothing to do with this specific amp. Okay, much, much better. By the way, I'm also going through Nectar 3 here just to bring all of the, uh, you know, the levels up and make sure the uh, vocal sounds good. But uh, you don't need Nectar 3 to actually de-click uh, your mouth noises. So that's one option you have is just setting it on your track. And of course, then bouncing that out, uh, uh, bouncing your audio out, or of course, right clicking and committing that to the track. But let me bypass that. You do have another option. And this is one I use quite a bit is I'll go to the audio suite version here. Now I'm using the RX-6 version because I don't have the RX-7 uh, version right now. Uh, but the latest version is, as of this video anyway, is the RX-7 version, but they work exactly the same. So if you don't want to process your entire audio track because maybe it's giving it some weird, uh, weird sound or some weird artifacts, you can process just the parts that you want by using the audio suite version here. So again, the real-time version is bypassed. Let's just listen to this from waves, but it has nothing to do with. So right here, I'm getting some clicks, but it has nothing, but it has nothing, but it has nothing. Hear those? So our audio is selected. And of course, this is different in other DAWs, but uh, we're going to render this to the track. And of course, listen but to it. it has nothing, but it has nothing, but it has much better. Go ahead and render that to the track. 
boom, there it is. But it has nothing to do with much better, much better already. Let's come down here a little bit more. It has nothing to do with this specific. Okay, there's one back here. Do with this right here. With this, with this, put that click in there. Let's listen here. With this, 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 with this. Sounds good. Do with this, do with this, do pretty good, but we can do better. Let's me back out of that. Just control Z with this, with, with this, with, with this, 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 with this. There we got it. Do with this specific. There we go. Much, much better. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Waves, but it has nothing to do with this specific amp. And right here, we already have this cut right here. So listen to it. Sounds good. Render it. Specific amp, okay. And this last part right here. So this way our audio, you know, all of our audio is not gonna be processed with this, uh, just the parts that we need it, uh, you know, need to be processed. Yep, I should get it right there. You should see that. Yep, you saw it uh, go away. I'll control Z out of that just so you can really see this right here. And there you go. That click is gone. So that is the audio suite version just affecting just those parts that we wanted uh, to affect amp from waves but it has nothing to do with this specific amp okay much much better so no more excuses for having a bunch of mouth clicks ah! you know all that all that noise in there which is is awful pick up rx mouth d click which is usually you know included in a uh a bundle and of course use it in any DAW. No more excuses for having a bunch of mouth noises in your audio.